Sunday at, at uh, it was about noon. We were picking sage, and I told Cindy, "We gotta stop. We gotta go to the Sundance grounds." And I'm like, "But they're not gonna break and end till about two o'clock. We got time." And the voice is like, "No, you gotta go." And I'm like, "All right." So I took her to a Sundance she's never been to, and it's one from years ago in my past. There's a lot of people I knew from the Sundance and that. So. We went there and they had finished breaking and we didn't know that. And I'm looking and I'm like, okay, because I'm like, okay, maybe they allowed everybody disconnect and they're just allowing them to cool off. And then all of a sudden it's like pipes, the last pipes were smoked. And I was like, oh, we're going to do the dance out. Everybody can grab the prayer sticks. So these are prayer sticks. There's 250 of them around the inside of the, the dance harbor and stuff like that so they were dancing and everything and finishing up and then they they bless you they go around and they take their pipe and stuff and they touch you on both sides and they say a prayer uh wish you good luck or whatever and so they were going around and finishing and somebody's eagle feather broke and fell off and it landed at my feet I can see it snapped off, and then we ended up picking some prayer sticks. So it was sort of an unexpected thing. I didn't think we were going to get to do that. I thought we were going to stop in, we were going to do all this stuff, and then we were going to leave. And we wanted to see my friend Joe in April, and that was part of the thing too, was trying to see them, maybe decide to do a medicine exchange. And I was really open to talk to Joe that maybe I can go up there in the fall and maybe pick some rat root and some other stuff and maybe set something up and see if we can go find some bear root and things. I was sort of hoping, but things didn't work out that way. So they finished the dance and everything. And I ended up with Eagle Feather and Joe came along and I didn't see it land by my feet. And he says, there's a feather down by your, your feet. And he says, the universe must want to bless you with something really big. And he says, pick it up. So I reached down. First, I asked the universe, is it mine or not? And her, so I picked it up and I was like, okay, who does it belong to? And basically, it came home with me. So I guess it's mine. And it was really interesting as the dancers were going by. And I had the shirt with the earth and the guy standing on and the biosphere around it. And people were just staring at us because we just showed up like we weren't there for anything. All of a sudden, we were getting blessed and the ceremony was over. And it was this Japanese lady and she was coming along and she was in this super, super high altered state from dancing. Like she had no more energy left. Like she was just standing on her feet like she was like her brain was blown open and she doesn't know how to ground or anything. And you could tell she just dialed in. And she comes into my energy and she's walking up and her eyes just get so big and she just backs right up and she stares at me. She says, you're the man. She says, she comes over and does this prayer order. She's bowing to me and she walks away. And I'm like, oh, and the energy was so big coming off some of them. Mm -hmm. A couple of guys that came up to me and they're like, holy, like, who are you? And they're just like staring at me because they're like plugged into the universe getting downloads and they're not grounded because it just had broken and there's like way out there in the universe just like how energy fluctuates and it comes and it goes and um my whole big message there is just like rolling with it don't try to control it because we didn't know these things were going to happen we we're just like okay our main objective was to collect sage um it just happened to be that we're like in the right area at the right time and we just and um, that girl, Candace, with us, um, uh, Victoria, the guide, right? So she, it was all so new to her and it was such an ex a new experience for her. She was very empathic and she went into this ceremony where people have been fasting um, for four days. And she just like, oh, I'm really dehydrated. I, I really need to get a drink. And I'm like, okay, you need to know what is your energy and what is not your energy because all these people are very dehydrated. So she got to also like flex that um, brave empathic uh, um, ability, right? Like just be brave with it. Don't shy away from it because people are so tuned into the universe that they stay home all the time. They lock themselves up in their house and they feel really good about it because they're not getting triggered by energies. Um, and they feel like that's the right thing to do. But 
it's like when we go into these uncomfortable situations, those are the places where we learn how to, you know, master our abilities and our gifts. Um, so she just like, she wasn't planning on being there. She just found herself in it. And it was a real intense energy. She had, uh, she said she had just started opening up again, those abilities of perception, which she had closed down because it was too much. And she went into a full on Sundance ceremony right at the end. And there was like a lot of energy in there. And so, um, she had to learn in that moment and she, she was fine. Like she was able to communicate it. She learned from it. Um, and she's like, I never go out to do these things because the energy affects me so much. And I'm like, from all the people that Joe and I meet, there is so many people out there that are, you know, empaths or spiritual gifted people that just hide, hide from the world, hide in their safe cocoon, in their homes, um, stay with the like the three friends that they trust. They never open up to be vulnerable with other people because they got hurt in the past and then they just stay in the same. So it was really cool to see how she found herself in the situation and how she learned from it and how she really expanded afterwards. So that's what right I right at the beginning, the energy was too much for her and mm -hmm. she thought she was going to blow right open because she started tuning into everybody and they're like when the guys break, like when you run back and the, those pegs were through your skin there is a jolt of energy beyond because it blows you into your body. Like you're so far out there and you go back and all of a sudden you realize you got a body and it's like somebody put super, super hot coals into your chest and it's just on fire and you're trying to breathe and you're trying to recognize your body and your mind, but you're still out there and you're still, and you're trying to navigate and do all these things. And all this stuff is going on and, and you're looking around and you're realizing this, this, this whole ceremony has gone on. And so she's an empath, not knowing this. And all the women, they just finished, you know, doing People the same got thing, dancing. Blood coming down their yeah. chest and stuff. And her stuff going, she's never seen this, right? Not her husband and, and it's brand new and they're both standing and her, and her eyes are just big and they're <laughs> in shock, right? And there's so much energy and they're both dialed in and they have no clue like the universe just blew this out of nowhere mm -hmm. so it was a really big profound experience and then we took them to the other Sundance and we went sage picking again just also to say when Joe did um, an energy clearing on the two of them of course they've never you know, just met Joe really technically and uh, so they sat in the chair um, and they just were used to their own practice and the one was the, the, the mudras. And so they naturally just go and hold the mudra and Joe's clearing energy. And then Joe tapped on his fingers and he said, let that go. That's the old. And that's bringing in like, just it's the old frequency. And when I, when Joe said, that's the old and you want the new. And I felt the teaching just so simple and so big and profound. And it's like, if you keep doing the same old practices, you're just going to have that same old energy. So where do we venture out and be brave and to like step into that new teaching, new energy, new practices, new thoughts? How do you do that? When do you do that? no one's going to make you do it um and then there's that was a simple message that joe gave i don't know how well it landed with them it, to me it was loud it was really loud i could see it was really obvious but for them it was just something very subtle and very so i invite you to think about that too <laughs>